Hey guys, real quick before we get into this video, I just wanted to thank my friend David uh, for wanting to send me a daughter board to fix this console. Uh, I didn't end up needing the daughter board, which you'll see why later on in the video. And I also wanted to thank uh, a gentleman named Frankie that is in the game console repair group on Facebook. Um, I found one of his posts one day and uh, it ended up not directly leading to the fix, but it pointed some things out to me that I was like, oh, I should check this. And I checked it and found the issue. Um, and it was because of his post that made this video possible. So thank you, Frankie. I just wanted to give credit where credit is due. So thank you so much. And let's get on with this repair. Hey guys, it's Chase. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a PlayStation 4 disk drive that doesn't feed discs in or out. Um, and it also doesn't turn on the console when you go to plug it in and uh, try to feed a disc in, which generally will turn on the console. Um, so we're going to go ahead and diagnose this and fix this right now. All right, so diagnosing this disk drive, we're going to need to test this board here. Um, this switch right here, when you go to put a disc in, it actually activates this switch which um, goes through this board and then goes through this ribbon cable, goes down to our main board here. Uh, and then actually runs up to this chip right here. So our issue is either going to be A, this board along with the switch or the switch and the board, uh, this ribbon cable is bad or this chip is bad or one of the fuses are bad. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, diagnose this here and just kind of go down the line and see what is actually happening. So I got the meter in continuity mode and if I can figure out which part of the switch, which it's probably this one right here in ground, maybe. If I hit this, if I can get this going here. Okay, so our switch is working. Um, now let's, so, I already looked at the motor and the motor is completely spinning freely. So the motor is probably not the problem. The switch is not the problem. Um, and so the other only thing I'm guessing, I did test this off camera before as well. The ribbon cable is actually fine as well. So we'll, let's look at our daughter board and look under the microscope and check one of the fuses and see if we can find one that's bad. Also, if this chip is heating up, then generally this chip is bad. Or if you have a blown fuse, then what is going to happen in, um, if you replace the fuse and this chip gets hot, then this is the chip you're going to have to replace. Um, if you do end up having to change the daughter board, um, instead of having to change this chip, um, if you wanted to just replace the daughter board entirely, then you would have to transfer this chip over because this chip actually has uh, your drive key that matches and is married to the motherboard. So. If you have a PlayStation that's doing this, you, you have to fix something on this board in order to get it to work again. Uh, you'll have to transfer this chip or fix that. So, uh, let's go to the microscope and see what we can find. Okay, so if you're going to look here, there is a fuse right here. I'll point to it. The fuse is right here. We're going to test it on the multimeter and see if that fuse is good or bad. As you can see, this fuse is not testing good. Fuse is testing bad. All right. So let's go ahead and change our fuse. All right. So I'm going to pull the fuse from a donor board here. This board is from a Xbox One disk drive. So we're going to pull this fuse right here, that one, and this one right here, we're going to pull that fuse. All right, let's get some flux on the board here. Okay. So I'm going to turn on my fan here and let's get some uh, fume extraction happening. Okay. So we just need to touch up solder on both sides of it. Now I'm going to swab my tip out here. I'm going to be using my knife blade. 
There we go. Got the fuse off there. I'm gonna grab it with my tweezers. Let's get that fuse. Move it over to our other board here. All right, and cool. It's same size fuse too. All right. So let's go ahead and get rid of this old fuse and put the new one in. Put some flux down. Okay. I'm going to use the knife blade again. And <clears throat> this time I'm just going to add a little bit of solder here to the end of this. Let's get our knife blade nice and tinned up so we can flow these joints really nice and good. I feel like this this knife blade is super overkill for this job, but yeah. Alright, so I'm going to use my mini wave for this um, part of the job here. We'll go back and forth on it. There we go. Alright, so that's gone. Remove the fuse. Right, let's swap tips here. I'm going to put back on the angled conical here. Alright, so I'm going to clean up this area with some alcohol, not flux. Sometimes you got flux that just kind of cooks onto the board here. And take some tweezers and just clean it up a little bit. And just clean up the board here. That area. Alright. Let's go ahead and put some flux down. Just a little dab. Let's go ahead and put this fuse in place here. Let's go ahead and solder this in a little bit more here. All right, that'll do. Let's go ahead and clean up. Alright, let's hook it into the PlayStation. Alright, moment of truth. I got the disk drive back together somewhat and we're going to go ahead and put a disk in and see if it's uh, the PlayStation turns on and pulls the disk in. Okay, that's good. <laughs> it's working. Awesome. Alright, now does disk eject work? Disk eject works. Yes. All right, cool. So we changed that one fuse and that was it. Just that one tiny fuse stopped the whole disk drive from being able to actually eject the disk. That's awesome. So cool. All right. Well, Josie woke up from sleeping because if you guys know, I work midnight. So uh, there are some days I wake I'm Josie up <laughs> when I'm fixing something or recording something. Um, but yeah, guys, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. And a comment. If you, if you guys uh, have any questions or any pointers, any criticisms, whatever you guys have for me, you can just leave it down below and I'll take a look at it if I've got some time. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Yeah, hello. Uh, talk to you. Yeah, you're welcome. And make sure to hit that subscribe button as well because uh, it shows me that I'm doing a good job and that you guys are actually interested in my channel. And uh, I, I really appreciate that. And if you guys need anything fixed, you guys can email me at chasefornierepairs at gmail.com and make sure you fill out the template in the video description so I know what kind of device you have and what it needs fixed and all of that. Uh, all your micro soldering needs. Stay tuned for more videos similar to this and the like. I'll see you guys. Say bye bye, say bye, -bye Josie. Say bye bye. Wave bye bye. Wave bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye.
Hello. Can you say hello? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs>